Welcome into another telecast, LMC Varsity Sports, our first telecast of the uh, winter season here on December 3rd. I am Charlie McGraw, and we have a treat for you as Mamernik and Rye will uh, drop the puck and ready for three 17-minute uh, periods here, high school hockey. Mamernik won a tournament in Albany. They're 2-0, and and this is the opener for Coach Peter Thomas's Rye Garnets. Mamernik uh, has it in the Rye zone early and Rye clears it and kept in by Shokrian and Shokrian's shot is knocked away by the Rye defense and brought up by Reese Dorfman. Tigers coached by Mike Chaparelli once again and uh, Peter Thomas, head coach, his daughter Annabelle Thomas is the goalie for Rye. And the goalie for Mamaronek is senior Max Baker. Captains for the Tigers are Ari Shokrian, Riku Takaya, Will Mills, and Max Baker. For Rye, it's uh, Brennan O'Byrne, Carter Barford, Reese Dorfman, and Annabelle Thomas. One minute, five seconds gone by. No shots for either team here at Homics with a pretty good crowd on hand for both teams. First time since two years ago they can have a full uh, crowd. Last year because of COVID, most of the games, except for the final, they weren't allowed any. And the shot had a breakaway opportunity there for Green Tommy Greenhaw. And he shot it high. So still no shots on goal for either team. And the Tigers will dump it in and Rye will pick it up and bring it towards the blue line and it gets passed and Greenhaw has it and he's checked by Shokian and it's intercepted by Will Knowles before it got to Baker and the Tigers will bring it out and Hugo Meyer makes a play and Annabelle Thomas makes the first save as she sticks it aside. They fight for it behind the goal and Rye gets it and they play it forward and it's iced by the Garnets. They got the change right before the ice and 14, 34 left. Here at Homix, no score. One shot for Mamaronek, a light shot. And Takaya Berenblad gets it. So Marinek wins the face off. Two and a half minutes gone by. Tigers and the Garnets. Takaya has it and he gets checked in the corner. And that puck will be another icing. Second icing of the game for Rye, for, uh, second in the last minute, and they'll. Drop the puck in front of Annabelle Thomas on the other side with 14-13 to go in this first period. First of the season for Rye and the third game for the Tigers who won, who swept an Albany tournament last week. And the Tigers win the faceoff. But Rye gets it behind the goal and they clear it forward. Takaya gets it, but it's sticked away from a Cur a Curran gets it back after giving it to him. And it gets by uh, into the blue line offsides on Rye. And the late hit by Mamaronek right in front of the Mamaronek crowd. And it'll be a faceoff for in the Rye zone to the offsides. Tory wins the faceoff, and he'll go forward. And Tory Ramsey, that's Jack Ramsey, plays it forward. No one's there though from Amaranek, and the Garnets will get it. And a big hit there by the Tigers. And. Ari Shokrian will play it forward as Tori will come out 
And it'll be played for by Hacker. And Rye will have it stolen by Chakrian. And he shoots it wide. And Hacker has it, but it's stolen by Rye. And they dump it into the Tiger zone. And it's played here, and a hit on Tesh. Teich, excuse me. Gabriel Teich. And he will lose it, and Rye will get it. With five and a half, actually, four and a half minutes gone by, it goes out into the bench. And they will reset at center ice as it went out right at the start of the bench, right next to the penalty box. Bench, a little extra, one or two extra players can't even sit on the bench. The Tigers, amount of players they have. It's behind the goal. One shot on the board for Rye and none for, no, one shot on the board for Marinek and none for Rye. And the Tigers come out with it. And it's played by Hacker, and he gets a hit. And brought up by Teich. And played in the zone by Hugelmeyer. Teich with the check, and the Tigers will fight for it. And it'll go to Shokri and the new player. Shokri and the new player for the Tigers, and Shokri and Ices it. So Rye will get a face off in front of Baker for the first time. After the icing. First time, first icing for Mamaronek. They have one. Mamaronek has two. Very little uh, shots on goal. Just one for Mamaronek. And Baker hasn't had to make a save for the Tigers. But the face off in the zone is won by Takaya. As Mamaronek's won most, if not all, the face offs on a high hit. That's a penalty elbowing. So Rye will go to the box for the first time. Americ will get on the power play. Elbowing. Elbowing. A minute and a half penalty. Elbowing by Aiden Cunningham. Minor. So it'll be a five on four as it knocked the helmet off of Fox. So that's why the penalty was called. He elbowed him and the, his helmet came flying off. So a two minute penalty. Two minute penalty. So. Cunningham gets an explanation from one of his assistant coaches, Thomas Bailey. And it'll be dropped. And the Tigers win another faceoff. No shot of save by Annabelle Thomas, her second of the game. Power play, two minute power play now with the 17 minute pierce. They have two minute power plays, not a minute and a half. And that shot is saved by Thomas in front. And they score! Tigers score on the scrum. And it was put in by either Matthews or Knowles. It has a deflection and a rebound. It might have been Tory. Twenty so is scored by Chris Matthews, assisted by Riku, uh, Riku Takaya, and assisted by Kevin Tory. So the Tigers go up one nothing. So the assists were the shots, as it was the first shot by Tory, then the second shot by Takaya, and then Matthews puts home the rebound after. Uh, Three sa four saves uh, total now for Annabelle Thomas, but the Tigers lead 1-0 with 11-13 remaining in the first period. So six minutes, five minutes and 47 seconds into the game. Chris Matthews scores for the power play goal for the Tigers. So back in after the penalty will be Aiden Cunningham. About Less than 30 seconds into his pen into Cunningham's penalty, they scored. Shots blocked by the defense before it got to Baker, and it's played back to Shudia. Tigers have numbers. Breakaway for Matthews, and he scores again. Chris Matthews, two goals in a minute, and the Tigers lead 2-0 here on their first home game of the season. Yeah, 
They said Fox scored it, but I swear it looked like Matthews scored. It looked like Matthew scored that, number 20. Two nothing Tigers. Have to see that later, but. So Takaya got his second assist, that's for sure. And then it looked like Matthews scored. Instead it was, um, instead they said Fox scored. That's what the ref gave to the uh, scoring table. Trip and Rye has numbers. Look, still looking for their first shot of the game. Yeah, that was definitely Matthews who scored, not Fox. I don't know what the ref was looking at because Matthews is lefty and Fox is righty. And it was definitely Matthews who scored. So we'll, we have the two goals for Matthews and two assists for Takaya and Tori has an assist. And in front and knocked away by the defense. And that'll be icing. So 8.56 to go, two goals in a minute by Chris Matthews, two assists for Riku Takaya and Kevin Torrey with an assist and the Tigers lead 2-0. A power play goal was the first goal of the game by uh, Matthews. Intercepted by Hacker. Halfway done with the period, eight and a half minutes to go. Tigers up 2-0 on a power play goal by Chris Matthews and then a breakaway goal a minute later by Matthews. That goes wide. And cleared and played up by the Tigers. And brought in by Rye. And it hits the side of the goal. And in the goal. And a Rye player is stuck in the goal. And now he comes out. And the Tigers play it forward. It was. Brendan O'Byrne slid into the goal and was stuck in the side. Finally came out before the ref blew the whistle. And Rye whiffs there, and it's cleared by the Tigers icing. So Rye, third icing of the game now from Amaranek. Rye has two icings. Intercepted by Dobkin. Offside. Coach Schaff instructing his players what to do so they're not offsides next time. Rye comes away with it, and they play it back now and trying to get it forward. And the shot redirected first save for Max Baker. The shot was redirected by his own player, 
on the uh, hard shot by Rye. So Baker makes his first save, and the it took him 10 minutes for the first shot on target. It was a deflected shot by Marinek right after um, the shot was taken by Rye. So two nothing Tigers on two goals by Chris Matthews. Ten, um, less than a minute apart, and it's 6:35 left in this first of three 17-minute periods here at Hamex, and the first home game for Marinek, and the first overall game for Rye. Goes out and after six seconds. Need a new puck. We gotta get a puck from right here. And they do. So it'll be in front of Annabelle Thomas. Hacker and it stays in and Taish will lose it and it'll be brought up by the Garnets and they'll shoot it wide by Greenhaw. Greenhaw's had a couple shots that have gone wide and that shot by Greenhaw scores over Baker's shoulder and it's 2-1 Garnets and they celebrate in front of the Mamaronek student section and they have don't like that as they point to the scoreboard. Still 2-1 Tigers. Greenhaw assisted by Tommy Richardson. So Tommy Greenhaw with the goal over uh, Baker's shoulder and assisted by Tommy Richardson. It's 2-1 with 5.40 to go in this first period. And they'll need another puck. And that one's saved by Baker, his second. So just six shots on goal combined, but three goals. Two for Marinek, one for Rye. With, um, that one goes wide uh, with the, so half, half the shots have gone in. Jakaya, that's a big hit. And that's a save by Annabelle Thomas from far out. Shot by CJ Saropoulos. And they'll drop it in front of her with 4.58 to go in this first period as Rye's goal 32 seconds ago made it a one score game. Tori has it behind the goal. <laughs> Penalty on the Tigers. So they'll have to go the kill for the first time. Interference. Two minute minor interference by Will Knowles. So the penalty kill from the Tigers will. Knowles interference. Having trouble with the scoreboard. So Knowles will come in at 241. Oh my God. 
It goes past Berenblatt, and Rye gets it. That was the goal scorer, Greenhaw, and Baker makes the save first on the kill. So it's third save, second, third. So 2.41, so a minute 40 left in the power, in the Rye power play. First power play of the game was uh, Mamaronek scored, Chris Matthews' first goal of the game. And they killed it off, and weren't able to kill it off. Uh, Mamaronek trying to kill off this power play. And Rye will bring it forward. Dorfman, as Mamaronek goes, collides with one another, and they clear it. No icing since they're on the kale. Three fifty to go in the first period. Two forty one will be the time that Knowles is released. And he's weaving through the defense for Rye. And Marinek can't clear it. And that's a wide shot by the goal scorer Greenhaw. And wide shot by Dorfman. 30 seconds left on the power play. And it's out of front. Good save by Baker. And it's still loose. And they got it. Good save, Max Baker. And it was stuck in his pad or his jersey and 13 seconds left on the power play there's three saves there five saves now for Baker and Mamaronek wins the crucial power um, face off to clear the puck and that'll get Knowles out in five seconds in the box. And they're played forward by the Tigers. And it's icing. With 2.24 left in the period. As Mamarna killed off the two minute uh, penalty to Will Knowles for interference. Shot is save made by Annabelle Thomas, her fifth. Puck gets loose and it's in it's Greenhaw will lose it. And it'll be played back and it'll be blocked by uh, Dotkin. Good hit right in front of the Mamaronek fans by Ramsey. Played in, and Baker saves it and drops it. And the shot is high by Tommy Richardson. Brought in by Fox. And Matthews is looking for the hat trick. Matthews passes to Fox, puts it well wide. Good defense by Brendan O'Byrne. And Rye clears it. 
That'll be an icing with 52.7 seconds left in the first period. Still 2-1 with Marinek. As they'll bring the puck into the right zone. And they'll drop it with 52.7 seconds here in the first period. Rye trails Mamaronek 2-1. Mamaronek had a power play goal, and they killed off a penalty with 44.1 now stoppage. Tried a, a hit there, but couldn't get it fully, couldn't fully connect on it. And Rye with a nice play to kick it away with 26 seconds to go in the period to stop the far shot. And Dobkin has it. And now Rye plays it forward with 13 seconds left. And Rye will bring it into the zone with 10 seconds, and it'll be stolen by the Tigers and stolen right back by Rye. Outside the blue though, and it'll be offsides on Rye with 2.7 seconds to go in this first period. Tigers up two to one. Two point seven. Rye makes one change. And Aranak will keep everyone in and they just patty cake it over and it's the end of the first and it's one nothing. I mean 2-1 on two Chris Matthews goals a minute apart. One uh, on a power play, the other not. So the Tigers lead 2-1 and we'll be back about 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes here on LMC Varsity Sports for the second period. Thank you for watching LMC Varsity Sports. We hope to continue this service of streaming our school's varsity sports matches, but we can only do this with your support. Visit lmcmedia.org forward slash donate and make your contribution today and keep this program going. Large Mamba Marinette, this is your media center. Live mobile production van. In studio recording. Podcasting social media in your schools watching your government with your neighbors LMC Media building community through media LMC Media helped me in my media journey from the very beginning and I was a video production intern with Larchmont Mamaroneck Community Television I started volunteering at LMC 10 years ago, when I was just 10 years old. I started out announcing games for the varsity sports part of LMC TV. I started volunteering with LMC TV around middle school. I needed a place to start so I could learn and grow not only in front of the camera, but also behind the scenes. I gained incredibly valuable, hands-on experience in live video production. But working here cemented my love for film and television production, and now it's something that I want to do for the rest of my life. It gave me those reps, those opportunities to get some games under my belt. There was something about working with my hands, being part of a team, and getting to meet so many different people over the course of the night that really inspired me to pursue a career in media production. It mattered to me because I felt like I was contributing to a talented local station while also learning as much as I could about the community that I was serving. By working on shows like The Local Live and the annual election night coverage from a young age, I was learning about and got to be involved in news going on in the community. With the knowledge and confidence that they gave me, I now feel that I am well equipped to go out into the world and pursue a career in video journalism. I wouldn't be where I am today without LMC TV. An employee of WNET New York Public Media. I'm now a graduate student at New York University's news and documentary journalism program. And it's helped lead to my career of announcing games for ESPN Plus. LMC and the people here changed my life. And I don't even know where I would be with my career 
or my ambitions or my passions if I had not experienced that internship. And that's why I can't imagine my life without LMC because they truly have built a community. The skills I learned at LMC, I forever take with me on all my media assignments. So thank you, LMC. So I'm very, very thankful. Do you need space for a meeting, conference, or presentation? LMC Media has what you need. Our 768 square foot studio space is ideal for many types of productions, readings, recitals, rehearsals, and workshops. The space has video recording capability, as well as daylight temperature lighting, green screen, and stage. Two additional rooms at 208 and 156 square feet can be used for any of your needs. Auditions, meetings, classes, workshops, one-on-one -on -one instructions, and more. Both rooms feature video monitors with Chromecasting capability, making presentations a breeze. To reserve one or more of our spaces, contact us at reserve at lmcmedia.org. My name is Sean. I am a regular volunteer here. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a volunteer. Today is my very first day. I've only been here about an hour. <laughs> LMC just provides a lot of opportunities for volunteers. This was the first opportunity I've ever had to be like in a professional um, news setting. I've learned on camera, i learned post-production, I've learned everything that I could possibly learn about the world of TV and production in general. Everybody is extremely outgoing and very helpful. I think everyone seems time when they're making the show or behind the scenes, so it's a very, very friendly, like positive environment. Every time I would come in, it would just be a whole new experience. And just all the people were just so nice and inviting. Everybody who works at LMC, they're just great to be around. It's a great laugh. It's, you know, it kind of feels like a family. The LMC Media Production Van is a fully equipped mobile production unit. This custom built van has cutting edge professional video and telecommunications technology, high definition cameras, and accommodates a full production crew. Interviews and events can be easily live streamed from remote locations to the LMC cable channels and social media. This mobile unit allows for broadcasting from anywhere in our tri-municipal community and beyond. Sporting events, graduations, concerts, festivals, parades, and more. The LMC Media Production Van is ready to go whenever you need it. Do you have a great idea for a YouTube video or a short film, but don't know how to make it happen? LMC Media has what you need. Our equipment cage is stocked with professional quality cameras, tripods, lighting, sound, cabling, and more. Our 768 square foot studio features a full lighting grid, wraparound green screen, teleprompter, TriCaster, and high definition cameras. To reserve equipment, contact us at reserve at lmcmedia.org.
MC Media's YouTube channel is where you can connect to your community. You can easily find your favorite videos in a playlist or keyword search. Videos are added daily relating to your community, weekly updates, talk shows. Welcome to another community conversation. I'm Michael Witch for LMC Media. How to's and municipal meetings. Stay connected through video. Check it out and subscribe. Did you know you can watch LMC Media on your Roku in full high definition? Go to streaming channels and search for ScreenWeave. Install the Cablecast ScreenWeave channel. Look for the green icon. Open the channel, scroll to LMC Media, and press OK. Your device will remember selection in the future. From within the app, you can watch all three of LMC's channels live. Or check out municipal and school board meetings, varsity sports, and more on demand. Need technical support for your next meeting or presentation? LMC Media offers full service meeting management virtually, in real life, or a hybrid of both. Our staff can run your meeting or webinar, set up for in-person audiences to interact, or provide a professional space for you to stream. Contact us for more information at info at lmcmedia.org. watch LMC Media on your Apple TV in full high definition. Go to the App Store and search for ScreenWeave. Install the Cablecast ScreenWeave channel. Look for the green icon. Open the channel, scroll to LMC Media, and press OK. Your device will remember your selection in the future. From within the app, you can watch all three of LMC's channels live. Or check out municipal and school board meetings, varsity sports, and more on demand. Thank you for watching LMC Varsity Sports. We hope to continue this service of streaming our school's varsity sports matches, but we can only do this with your support. Visit lmcmedia.org forward slash donate and make your contribution today and keep this program going. Large Mamba Marinette, this is your media center. Live mobile production van. In studio recording. Podcasting social media, in your schools, watching your government, with your neighbors, LMC Media, building community through media. LMC Media helped me in my media journey from the very beginning. And I was a video production intern with Larchmont Mamaroneck Community Television. I started volunteering at LMC 10 years ago when I was just 10 years old. I started out announcing games for the varsity sports part of 
LMC TV. I started volunteering with LMC TV around middle school. I needed a place to start so I could learn and grow not only in front of the camera but also behind the scenes. I gained incredibly valuable hands-on experience in live video production. But working here cemented my love for film and television. Back here on LMC Varsity Sports, second period, just got confirmation from Coach Mike Ciapparelli. I uh, was right that it was Chris Matthews who has scored both goals. He scored the second on a power play. Takaya has two assists and Kevin Torrey as it's 2-1 Tigers, second of three 17-minute periods, and they both will switch sides and Rye will have it uh, here. Oh, a big hit by Fox and a save by Baker. And the shot save made by Baker. Shot taken by Brendan O'Burn. Baker with six saves now. Counterpart Annabelle Thomas has five. So Rye with two shots in the first half, uh, 30 seconds of this first period. And Rye has it, and they pass it. And the save made by Baker, his seventh. And icing by Mamarinek. Ryle had the face off in front of Baker. Ryle keeps it in. That was Cunningham. And Rye wraps it in front of the goal, and Greenhaw can't put it in as it's knocked away. And Mamaronek will take it out, and they will have a two-on-one. And the pass is just behind Torrey. Missing him was Dopkin. And Rye will pull it forward. Uh, Shokrian has it. And Shokrian has it. Shokrian will bring it, will wrap it towards the goal, and it'll be knocked away by the Garnets. Two minutes, almost two minutes in, and a good save by Annabelle Thomas. And it'll be a minute 55 gone by, as that's her seventh, sixth save. Thomas, daughter of head coach Peter Thomas. Kaya will take it. He's been very successful on the faceoffs tonight. Matthews looking for the hat trick is right behind him. And Matthews, Rye wins the faceoff after about a couple seconds. Curran gets it out, and then uh, Mamarinek gets it right back. 14.50 left in this second period, still 2 1. A couple early shots by both teams in the period. Still the second. Chris Matthews' goal is the difference as the Tigers lead 2-1. Knowles steals it and Rye gets it back. Offsides, Shokrian tripped up, 
tripped him up right as the offsides as he uh, gestures for the crowd to make noise. It will be a face-off at the blue line following the offsides by Rye. Two minutes, 33 seconds gone by. 2-1, Tigers. And Mamarina gets it. Baron Blot. Rye plays it forward, uh, plays it back. And it's stolen by Teich. Teich will have it lost. And it'll go back, though, to Barenblatt. And the defenseman will play it towards Hacker. And Rye will bring it forward, looking to tie it up. That's Dempsey Brown. Dempsey Brown makes a guy fall. Dempsey Brown shot is wide. Wow, that would have been some highlight real goal. As, uh, who is it? Um, Saropoulos fell on the ice after uh, falling for the deke. And Saropoulos tries to land a hit, but misses on uh, Kim. That puck goes behind the goal. And they call for icing and they get, get it. 13.07 left in the second period. Still 2-1. Best chance of the period was uh, after that move by the junior Dempsey Brown. Also saw the freshman Dean Kim that shift for a rye, only freshman on either team. And the shot is wide. Missed off balance was Rise Foster Richardson. Shot save and trying to poke it home. And Shokrian has, uh, and we got a little pushing and shoving after the fact as they have, it, they have to be separated. Baker, he went hard into Baker, took exception to it. Did Shokrian. And it'll be a penalty for Teachin, Nathan Teachin. Two penalties, Shokrian and Teachin. Roughing five on five, so they'll still play five on five. Roughing, uh, coincidental, Shokrian and Teachin. Both coincidental but they'll still play five on five. So the next stoppage after two minutes, they'll be able to go back in as they're five on five. Marinette comes away with it. Two, uh, two on two, Fox. Matthews looking for the hat trick, and it's behind him. Goes back all the way to uh, Baron Blot. Plays it in. They had um, Thomas going the other way, but it was knocked away by Rye. And Rye plays it forward, and the shot is high over Baker, and the rebound is wide. Just missing that uh, and almost getting his own rebound was Barford. Barford. Barford and Dorfman. And the save made by Baker and the nearly poked it home was the uh, Garnets Greenhaw looking for his second goal of the game. And that shot save made by Baker who's been very busy in the second period. Save off the deflection, and we have a penalty. 
of a penalty. I believe that we do. I'm a Marinac. So, Hook. Baron Blatt for hooking. Two minutes, Baron Blatt for hooking. Uh, so Rye will have a power play, their second of the game, with 11.20 to go in the second period as the ref will... T Cross-checking, it was cross-checking, not hooking. Cross-checking by Baron Blatt, so he'll be out. So it'll be a five-on-four power play for Rye. And at 10.51, a whistle after 10.51, the uh, Teachin and Shokrian will go back in. Rye wins the faceoff. They're going on the power play. And Dorfman has it. Dorfman plays it to O'Byrne. Back to Dorfman, and it's wide. O'Byrne back to Dorfman. And long shot, and a save made by Baker on a tough one by Reese Dorfman. And Shokrian and Teachin will uh, Shokrian will go back in, and Teachin will sit, go to the bench. Trying to make a change here. A minute 29 left on the Rye on Rye's second power play of the game, and it's still 2-1. Rye wins the face off. Second one they won on the power play. They got it back to uh, Ilovara, and that shot is wide. Curran gets it. Rye still on the power play. 110 left. And it hit, it got behind Baker. Might have hit the post. If, and Baker with another save. Baker has made about 10 saves in the period. He's up to about 13, about 13, 14. And the shot is played in. And Baker makes another save. 14. Thomas only has about seven. And both teams will switch it up with 20, with 52 seconds left on the second power play for Rye. The, on the a minor penalty, two minutes, Baron Blatt. Rye keeps it in, deflected uh, by Dempsey Brown, and it goes high, and they'll face it off again, 37 seconds. Puck is there. Rye wins another faceoff on the power play. And that shot, a nice save, Baker's best of the day. It was right above him, he put his glove up, and his stick, and he got a piece of it on the high shot by Cal McLaughlin. His best save of the day, and it's still 2-1. McLaughlin going back and forth. And Mamarinek clears it with 14 seconds left in the power play. And going after it is Ramsey. Rye has it, only five seconds left until Baron Black comes out. And Fox will come in for Baron Blatt and their even strength with 9.15 left. And just wide was that shot by the Garnets. Uh, Suchita. Icing the Marinek and we'll get a face off in front of the Tiger goal with 9.03 left. So 0 for 2 Rye now is on the power play.
And Rye shot and a save made by Baker. Dorfman had a chance, point blank, wide open, and Baker's got 15 saves. Rye keeps it in, and they pass it, and it gets by Dorfman. And the Marinek clears it. Rye dumps it behind the goal halfway through this second period. And the goal goes across the, the puck goes across the front of uh, Baker and the goal as Rye has it now. And Tori comes back in from Amerinek and he lays out Elevara. Icing, Tigers. Marinek, another icing. As Cutler comes in, Max Cutler. Play by Shokrian, and he'll clear it. And it'll be another icing. With 7.53 left in the second period. No score in this period, but the Tigers lead 2-1. Boards caught up with the shots and about 21, 20 saves and nine, eight saves for Annabelle Thomas. I said about 12 or 13 shots in this period, unsuccessful. Cutler played it forward and he skates after it. Tory, they got a touch up and they do. Rye comes away with it. It's 7.35 left. Cutler goes all the way back to Annabelle Thomas and she sticks it to Carter Barford. That'll be a, no, there won't be an icing as the ref waved it off because it was too slow of a puck. And Rye recovers it, put it towards the goal and it's wide by the Garnets and Mamarinek gets it. Good scoring chance for Rye there. Shokrian tries to get it out, but Rye keeps it in. And it's cleared and kept in, though. And still kept in by Barford. Timeout Mamaronek, so Coach Chaparelli uses his only timeout. And we'll be right back on LMC Varsity Sports. 6.45 left in the second period, 2-1 Tigers. Need technical support for your next meeting or presentation? LMC Media offers full service meeting management virtually, in real life, or a hybrid of both. Our staff can run your meeting or webinar set up for in-person audiences to interact, or provide a professional space for you to stream. Contact us for more information at info at lmcmedia.org. Need tech? The LMC Media Production Van is a fully equipped mobile production unit. This custom-built van has cutting-edge professional video and telecommunications technology, high-definition cameras, and accommodates a full production crew. 
Interviews and events can be easily live streamed from remote locations to the LMC cable channels and social media. This mobile unit allows for broadcasting from anywhere in our tri-municipal community and beyond. Sporting events, graduations, concerts, festivals, parades, and more. The LMC Media Production Event is ready to go whenever you need it. Back here on LMC Varsity Sports alongside cameraman Sean Riley, Jordan Harper, and Chris Lavinia, and LMC Community Sports producer Ron Moretti. I'm Charlie McGraw. It is the first and only timeout by coach Mike Schiaparelli with 6.45 left in the second as Kaya plays it forward to Matthews. Who and a, a late hit there by Rye as the ref was looking right at it, and that'll be a penalty. So Mamarinek, oh, they called it on uh, Mamarinek. Matthews got it. Elbowing for Matthews. So he uh, scored a power play goal in the second goal, and now Rye will have their third power play of the game, looking to tie it at two. Mamarinek, no, Rye wins the faceoff on the pow to start the power play. Rye has it. So they look to tie it at two with 6-10 left in this second period. And Rye looking for a really good shot here, and they get it, and they nearly score, but it goes off of Baker and wide. So last power play, they had a lot of shots, but they couldn't score, and this one they're trying for a really good shot to tie it. So 33 seconds gone by on the power play, still 2-1. Uh, and a minute 27 seconds left to the penalty for the two-goal scorer, Chris Matthews. Who's in the box for elbowing. Third Mamaronek penalty, they already killed the first two. Marinek led 2-0 and then Rye uh, tied it with Johnny with Tommy Greenhaw. Assisted by Tommy Richardson. As Chris Matthews had both goals uh, less than a minute apart. Riku Takaya had two assists and Tory, Kevin Tory had an assist. They thought about the shot. And the shot saved by Baker. They nearly put the rebound in, and they do! They score, and they tie it at two. That was Elevara, Lucas Elevara. And Rise fired up as it's 2-2, and the, finally they score a power play goal on their third try. And we'll get it from the ref here. But. Twenty-seven, seven, eight. Alivara scored, assisted by Kern and O'Byrne. Yeah, on the rebound, he put it in past the goalie at the open net, and he scored. Lucas Alivara, assisted by Brendan O'Byrne and Brian Kern. And it's two-two. Power play goal. Power play goal. Less than, there was probably less than about 40 seconds left on that power play. Yeah. Gonna face off in front of Baker again. So there's a couple shots on the power play and then the puck out in front. Wide open goal and Alavara put it in. 
junior defenseman. Teich plays it forward. Teich flops. Shot saved by Baker. So each team with a power play goal now. Olivar with the recent one for Rye and Matthews with the recent one. I mean, with the first goal of the game, the power play. Tigers. Not understand what Coach Chaparelli said there. That was tough. I don't have my. Uh, that was it. He yelled out something to his team, but as long as his players understood it. Rye has it and knocked away by the Tigers. A lot of slipping and sliding here by both teams. In front of the goal save made by Annabelle Thomas. And it's wide of her. Matthews looking for the hat trick. And Rye gets it on the far side. And they will have numbers, two, one. Gets by one guy and the other. And a save made by Baker. And the, the board of the goal gets uh, off its boarings as Baker makes the Kick save on the two on one advantage. And it's still 2 2 with 3.42 left in this second period. Baker's got 23 saves. About 16 or 17 in the second period. Ramsey brings it up and Rye steals it. Save made by Baker on Elevara. Tori goes flying into the boards. Rye brings it offside, and they will, and they call it Liam Dratty. Knocked in by the Tigers. Shot saved by Annabelle Thomas on the uh, a close shot by Matthews, who was looking for the hat trick. <laughs> Baker saves it, and Rye had a chance, but nobody was there. And Mamaronek will try and bring it out. Rye barely keeps it in. And they offside. Offside by Brian Curran. 2.25 left in the second period. Rye with the power play goal to tie it as that's where we stand, 2-2.
goal by Lucas Elevara. The power play goal tied at Tommy Greenhaw scored in the first period. And Chris Matthews scored a minute apart on a power play goal and an even strength goal in the, in the first for Mamaronek for their two goals. Oh, Takaya was close to it, but actually, no, that was Ramsey. They call icing anyway. 156 left. Rye flips it in. 140 left. Shot saved by Baker on Greenhaw. Shot deflected and it's scored by Rye. No goal. Waved off. Maybe it was goaltender interference, but it looked like the ref waved it off as the player went into Baker as the goal was being scored. No goal. No goal. So Tommy Richardson, we'll see if they give him a penalty, but it looked like he interfered with Baker and he went in and the goal was moving too. No, it wasn't interference. They said he kicked it in so that the puck was kicked in. No goal. They said it was kicked in by Rye, so no goal. And they'll bring it out. So the refs conferred it was kicked in, so it did not count. And Rye will try and score, but it's saved by Baker with 114 left. Baker up to 24 saves. It's 26. Annabelle Thomas has nine. For a while in the first uh, period, it was six total shots and three, three goals. Now the way up is the total shots are up to about 39 combined. Noel's asking the official why it was icing. And he said he didn't get it. So 106 to go. Shot wide with 52 seconds to go in the second period and a penalty on Rye. Roughing on uh, Tommy Greenhaw, power play the Tigers. With their second power play. Let's go, Let's go. One for one on the power play. So Tigers looking to score again on the power play. Scored about 30 seconds into the first power play and this is the second one. There's an even strength penalty this is their second power play. Shot wide. Right away, a couple shots, and Annabelle Thomas saved one, then the other went high. So if they can't score in the next 34 seconds before the period, the Tigers will start the second, start the third with a period. They're discussing who, if it was covered up, that's a penalty shot. Penalty shot, Tigers! They say it was covered up by Brendan O'Byrne and the Tigers will get a penalty shot. He covered it in the crease. So we have a penalty shot. Brendan O'Byrne covered it up. No 
So the Tigers penalty shot. Coach Schaff has to choose someone to take it. Most exciting play in sports. Although they have him a lot in the NHL because of the shootout, but it'll be Takaya. It'll be senior co-captain Riku Takaya who has the two on against, against Annabelle Thomas after Brendan O'Byrne was covering up the covered up the puck in the crease. Thirty point five seconds to go. So Takaya will come now. Riku Takaya against Annabelle Thomas for the lead. And she saves it. Takaya, he shot it from too far. Bad angle. Should have went a little closer and a little more to the middle. Instead, it was too far to the right. And Thomas with the big, big save. And it's 2-2. Still 2-2. And it'll be 30 seconds left. Thomas saves, but the Tigers are still on a power play. The biggest effort, uh, 11 saves. He kind of shot it right at her and she was able to knock it away. And they survived the penalty shot and the Garnets will clear it. And they got a opportunity here on a breakaway, shorthanded, and it's wide. Shorthanded, but opportunity for Reese Dorfman as the puck gets stuck in the net with 3.2 seconds to go. Dorfman could have scored shorthanded and gave Rye the lead, but he shot it wide as he had a breakaway. So a very action-packed, a lot of shots, and the, we had the power plays and the penalty shot, and Rye will not have a chance to take the lead here, and Mamernik will have a minute and 12 second power play with the, in the final, to start this final uh, period, the third. So the highlight of that period, the Annabelle Thomas save on the Riku Takaya penalty shot after it was uh, covered by Brennan O'Byrne, and then it was, as uh, they tied it to Rye. So it's 2-2. Two -two. 17, uh, we'll have the third period coming up with a minute 12 power play remaining for the Tigers. We'll be right back. They'll cut the ice with the Zamboni. We'll be back with about 10, 12 minutes here on LMC Varsity Sports. Thank you for watching LMC Varsity Sports. We hope to continue this service of streaming our school's varsity sports matches, but we can only do this with your support. Visit lmcmedia.org forward slash donate and make your contribution today and keep this program going. Large Mamba Marinette, this is your media center. Live mobile production van. In studio recording. Podcasting. Social media. In your schools. Watching your government. With your neighbors. LMC Media. Building community through media. LMC Media helped me in my media journey from the very beginning. And I was a video production intern with Larchmont Mamaroneck Community Television. I started volunteering at LMC 10 years ago when I was just 10 years old. I started out announcing games for the varsity sports part of LMC TV. I started volunteering with LMC TV around middle school. I needed a place to start so I could learn and grow not only in front of the camera but also behind the scenes. I gained incredibly valuable hands-on experience in live video production. But working here cemented my love for film and television production and now it's something that I want to do for the rest of my life. It gave me those reps, those opportunities to get some games under my belt. There was something about working with my hands, being part of a team, and getting to meet so many different people over the course of a night that really inspired me to pursue a career in media production. It mattered to me because I felt like I was contributing to a talented local station while also learning as much as I could about the community that I was serving. By working on shows like The Local Live and the annual election night coverage from a young age, I was learning about and got to be involved in news going on in the community. 
With the knowledge and confidence that they gave me, I now feel that I am well equipped to go out into the world and pursue a career in video journalism. I wouldn't be where I am today without LMC TV. As an employee of WNET New York Public Media, I'm now a graduate student at New York University's News and Documentary Journalism program. And it's helped lead to my career of announcing games for ESPN+. Plus. I haven't seen the people here change my life. And I don't even know where I would be with my career or my ambitions or my passions if I had not experienced that internship. And that's why I can't imagine my life without LMC because they truly have built a community. The skills I learned at LMC, I forever take with me on all my media assignments. So thank you, L LMC. I'm very, very thankful. Do you need space for a meeting, conference, or presentation? LMC Media has what you need. Our 768 square foot studio space is ideal for many types of productions, readings, recitals, rehearsals, and workshops. The space has video recording capability, as well as daylight temperature lighting, green screen, and stage. Two additional rooms at 208 and 156 square feet can be used for any of your needs. Auditions, meetings, classes, workshops, one-on-one -on -one instructions, and more. Both rooms feature video monitors with Chromecasting capability, making presentations a breeze. To reserve one or more of our spaces, contact us at reserve at lmcmedia.org. My name is Sean. I am a regular volunteer here. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a volunteer. Today is my very first day. I've only been here about an hour. <laughs> LMC just provides a lot of opportunities for volunteers. This was the first opportunity I've ever had to be like in a professional um, news setting. I've learned on camera, I've learned post-production, I've learned everything that I could possibly learn about the world of TV and production in general. Everybody is extremely outgoing and very helpful. I think everyone seems to have a good time when they're making the show or behind the scenes, so it's a very friendly, like positive environment. Every time I would come in, it would just be a whole new experience. Just all the people were just so nice and inviting. Everybody who works at LMC, they're just great to be around. It's a great life. It's, you know, it kind of feels like a family. The LMC Media Production Van is a fully equipped mobile production unit. This custom-built van has cutting-edge professional video and telecommunications technology, high-definition cameras, and accommodates a full production crew. Interviews and events can be easily live-streamed from remote locations to the LMC cable channels and social media. This mobile unit allows for broadcasting from anywhere in our tri-municipal community and beyond. Sporting events, graduations, concerts, festivals, parades, and more. The LMC Media Production Van is ready to go whenever you need it. Do you have a great idea for a YouTube video or a short film, but don't know how to make it happen? LMC Media has what you need. Our equipment cage is stocked with professional quality cameras, 
tripods, lighting, sound, cabling, and more. Our 768 square foot studio features a full lighting grid, wraparound green screen, teleprompter, TriCaster, and high definition cameras. To reserve equipment, contact us at reserve at lmcmedia.org. Media's YouTube channel is where you can connect to your community. You can easily find your favorite videos in a playlist or keyword search. Videos are added daily relating to your community, weekly updates, talk shows. Welcome to another community conversation. I'm Michael Witch for LMC Media. How to's and municipal meetings. Stay connected through video. Check it out and subscribe. Did you know you can watch LMC Media on your Roku in full high definition? Go to streaming channels and search for ScreenWeave. Install the Cablecast ScreenWeave channel. Look for the green icon. Open the channel, scroll to LMC Media, and press OK. Your device will remember your selection in the future. From within the app, you can watch all three of LMC's channels live. Or check out municipal and school board meetings, varsity sports, and more on demand. Need technical support for your next meeting or presentation? LMC Media offers full service meeting management virtually, in real life, or a hybrid of both. Our staff can run your meeting or webinar set up for in-person audiences to interact, or provide a professional space for you to stream. Contact us for more information at info at lmcmedia.org. watch LMC Media on your Apple TV in full high definition. Go to the App Store and search for ScreenWeave. Install the Cablecast ScreenWeave channel. Look for the green icon. Open the channel, scroll to LMC Media, and press OK. Your device will remember your selection in the future. From within the app, you can watch all three of LMC's channels live. Or check out municipal and school board meetings, varsity sports, and more on demand. Thank you for watching LMC Varsity Sports. 
We hope to continue this service of streaming our school's varsity sports matches, but we can only do this with your support. Visit lmcmedia.org forward slash donate and make your contribution today and keep this program going. Large Mamba Marinette, this is your media center. Live mobile production van. In studio recording. Podcasting. Social media. In your schools. Watching your government. With your neighbors. LMC Media. Building community through media. Back here on LMC Varsity Sports after an exciting second period. It is 2-2, Tigers and Garnets, and the Maranek has 1-12 left on the uh, power play as uh, the penalty to Greenhaw will expire in a minute, uh, a minute now. Third period, 17 minute period. As Torrey lays him out. And Rye gets it and they could clear it on the power play. When State will go into the zone, will Reese Dorfman. There's nobody with him. Meanwhile, valuable seconds come off the power play and a save made by Baker. Annabelle Thomas has 12 saves. Power play. Interference. So the Tigers will have five on three for 24 seconds. Tripping, tripping on Brendan O'Burn. 16-12 left in this third period. O'Burn not happy with that call. Five on three for the Tigers, and they just keep it in. And it's stopped away. And then it's wide with 12 seconds left on the five on three. Six seconds left on the 5.03. Takaya, who had the penalty shot stopped by there, by um, Annabelle Thomas. Last period. Rye will try and clear it as it's five on four. And it goes out to Takaya and it's sticked away by Greenhaw who came out of the box. Shot stopped right before Thomas could save it. Big crowd behind the goal. And that one is popped away and Rye clears it with a minute to go on the power play. Check right in front of the bench, the Mamaronek bench. That was Brian Curran laying it out for the Tigers, I mean for the Garnets. 35 seconds on the five on four. As this one's still tied at two. Tigers have it behind the goal. It's cleared by Rye. Momentarily, but Mamarinac gets it back. Blocked by the Garnets, kept in by the Tigers, and out past the blue line with six seconds, and the about to expire power play is now over. So Rai kills off a 25 second five on three, and then a, a penalty after that, and it's still 2 2, three minutes gone by in this third period. High over Annabelle Thomas. 
Marinette didn't have that many shots on that power play. It's intercepted by the guard. It's a score! Rye takes the lead for the first time in the game. 3-2, unassisted. Dempsey Brown. Marinette turns it over. And they score past Baker. The, the ref said that was assisted. It couldn't have been assisted. There is no 28. Unassisted. Unassisted. That had to be unassisted. He passed it right to him. Yeah, 28 was on Mamer. No. So Mamerinak passed it right to him, and he scored, so that couldn't be assisted. Dempsey Brown with the goal, three minutes and 11 seconds into the uh, third period, and Rye leads 3-2, their first lead of the game. The, dude, it was not assist, it wasn't assisted. There's no, there's no. Mamer the Mamerinak kid passed it right to him. That you don't have a 28. It was unassisted. No. The kid, Mamaronek passed it right to him. And then, yeah, unassisted because it was passed right from Mamaronek to him. All right, takes the lead on the turnover, so it was passed right to him. Ref said the 28 passed it, but there was no 28 on Rye. Or Mamaronek. Rye's first lead of the game, 3-2, and that hockey, that stick went flying in the air. And that's a big hit. Clean. To Kaya. Plays it toward the goal. Annabelle Thomas with the save on that cross. She has 13 saves. Baker's got 26. Oh, Baker nearly fumbled that, but it's picked up by Baker. Uh, and Richardson can't score. 3-2 Garnets, their first lead of the game. Rye has it. Pass it. Cunningham had her. Goes behind the goal. And they're able to clear it, but it's intercepted by the Garnets. Blocked by Dob Dobkin, and he's hurt. Dobkin's hurt. Stoppage. Takaya will take the face off in front. As they get oh burn out of this. Takaya loses it. Rye wins it. And it goes into the netting. Out of play, they need a puck. Need a puck. Another puck from up here, and we'll restart with 12.09 left. It went over the net. <laughs> it went over the netting uh, near the entrance to the, um, when you come in. Here, that puck went. We got another one and we play on under 12 minutes to go in the third period. Takaya can't intercept it. Teich. Teich shot was blocked. Rye, Keitch gets it. 
and he's like double teamed and he falls to the ground. Brought out and Baker with the save as that shot. Puck was shot in at mid ice. Rye steals it. Tights tries to steal it right back. 11 to. Rye intercepts it. It's knocked down by the Garnets, and they got it at mid ice here with 10.50 left in the third. Rye has 30 shots on goal compared to Marinette's 15. Lead three to two. Got a touch up, and he does. And another hit by Ramsey. Intercepted by Greenshaw, Greenhaw, excuse me. Chokrian. Chokrian loses it. He goes down, no penalty, and it's iced by the Garnets with 10.02 left in this third period. Rye up 3-2, scored for the first time in this period. Three minutes into the period, and they lead 3-2. And they'll drop it, and Torrey with a good shot and a good save by Annabelle Thomas. Only two seconds, four seconds went off the clock. Tory with a nice shot at right off the face off. If there was one, and they'll do it the same way again. And Tory passes it this time. And Shokrian's shot is blocked. Tory gets it back, and he's double teamed, and Rye steals it away. And Shokrian puts it up, deflected in. Shokrian keeps it in. Matthews and Fox in there. Fox was the guy the ref thought had scored the second goal, but it was actually Matthews' the second goal of the game. Matthews looking for the hat trick. He has it. He's checked right in front of the Rye student body. Shot blocked by Shokrian, and he'll bring it out. 8.50 left in this third period. Shokrian will get hit hard. That was legally. And Annabelle Thomas plays it behind the goal. Tigers now uh, one of three on power plays. They couldn't score on their last two. They intercepted too. Or one for one to start and then didn't score in the last two which intersected. With 8.05 left in this third period. Rye scoring in this third period. It was uh, Dempsey Brown off the uh, interception score. Also, Tommy Greenhouse scored the first goal, and then Lucas Olivara tied it at two last period on a power play goal. And Chris Matthews with two goals for Mamaronek, assisted by Riku Takaya and Kevin Torrey. Brendan O'Byrne, Brian Curran have assists each, and Tommy Richardson does as well for the Garnets. That one in front, backhand, what a save, and another save, and the three good saves in a row by Max Baker. To keep this one tied, I mean, to keep this one at 3-2, to keep this one at 3-2. He said two, three good saves in a row by Baker. Up to 29 saves. Annabelle Thomas says 13.
Rye wins the faceoff in front of Baker. And intercepted by Torrey. The puck goes in the air and it comes down and Rye gets it, Greenhaw. Seven minutes to go. Rye had it. As no surprise, Sean Riley's Red Hot Rangers lead 1-0 over the San Jose Sharks as Torrey can't get it out as it hit the ref. Fox has it. Torrey will change. Rye steals it. Tommy Richardson, who assisted on the first goal to Tommy Greenhaw, had it. 6-22, Tigers. Matthews and Takaya with his speed goes towards the goal. It gets by. He scores! Brian Takaya has tied it at three. And it's with 6.09 left. What a goal! The speedster. Takaya unassisted. <laughs> Takaya. As we, if something happened, the trainer has to come. Somebody's bleeding or something. The trainer's coming on the ice, Stevie. No, 19, Takaya. Coach said, Coach Chaparelli said, Justin Fox assisted, uh, Hacker assisted, and uh, the goal by Takaya. So Takaya has a goal and two assists. What happened? The ref has blood. So we'll be right back as the ref's being tended to. Here on LMC Varsity Sports. Do you have a great idea for a YouTube video or a short film, but don't know how to make it happen? LMC Media has what you need. Our equipment cage is stocked with professional quality cameras, tripods, lighting, sound, cabling, and more. Our 768 square foot studio features a full lighting grid, wraparound green screen, teleprompter, TriCaster, and high-definition cameras. To reserve equipment, contact us at reserve at lmcmedia.org. Back here on LMC Varsity Sports, I'm Sean McGraw. Stevie the trainer got to work and got the uh, blood off. The, the ref got hit with a, a puck, so they had to take a minute or two after the goal. Got hit with the puck before that. And Stevie the trainer patched it up and we're back. 3-3, Brian Takaya scored. Coach Mike Schiaparelli said it was assisted by Hacker, Anthony Hacker, and Justin Fox. Takaya has it. And he gets dumped, sandwiched. And he goes right through it. Still play on. And he gets the puck. Takaya gets it to Matthews. He's taking a beating over there. And Rosen, Baron Blot, excuse me, played it in. He gets it with 5.10 left. Icing. Oh. 
Bench looking for a penalty call. Interference on Takaya, but they did not get it. Tori has a nice move, Tori, and a good block by the Garnets. Diving block by the defenseman who has it now, and that is Cal McLaughlin. And the Garnets nearly score, but a good save by Baker, and the goal goes off its borings again. So 30th save made by Max Baker. And the, it's 3-3 with 4.42 left in this third period. Takaya wins the faceoff. Baron Blah. Oh, that was a weird noise off the glass over there. And that'll be cleared for an icing. With 4.21 left. 33 shots for Rye to 17 from Amerinek, but it's 3-3. Shot high. Reese Dorfman had a chance to tie it, but he roofed it. Four minutes to go. Dorfman shot well wide. This time to the left. This one in front. Knocked around. Shokrian looking for Teich. Rye plays it around with 3.35 to go, and that'll be icing with 3.32 left in this third period. So the puck will go the other side, and we'll see if Mamaronek can take the lead here. Hard hit there by Rye. It's played out to Sarapolis. Play it in to Kaya. Actually, that was Matthews. With 3.05 left. Shot! Oh! I think he swung and missed, so they stopped him, and then Baker makes the save. His 31st. It's still 3-3 with 3.02 left. Rye has a timeout if they want, but Coach Chaparelli already used his with 6.45 left. I don't think we'll see him do what he did in the section final where he put in the backup goalies twice, two different ones, to buy timeouts. I don't think he'll do that, uh, that uh, strategy this late. I mean, this early in the regular season. Torrey's shot is wide. And there's 2.45 left as Rye regathers the puck. Rye steals it right back. It goes off to Kaya's stick, and it's behind the goal, off the back of the goal. And around it goes. And Rye will get it stolen from them. And Greenhaw has it. Rye will change, and Mamaronek will unintentionally ice it with 2.08 remaining. It's a couple icings from Mamaronek in this third, and Rye hasn't capitalized. Both teams with a goal in this third period. Mamaronek tied it with six, with 6.19 left. 
Coach Chaparelli told us was assisted by Justin Fox and Anthony Hacker. Well, I didn't think Hack, and that one played, stopped by Baker. I was gonna say, I don't think Hacker, and we got a little pushing and shoving here. Don't think there'll be any pen penalties. Show Korean, that was Show Korean and Brent, and Brendan Kurt O'Burn. 202 left. O'Byrne talks it over with the official as he waits for the faceoff. Guys aren't even off the ice and they're dropping it with two minutes left here. Rye trying to score and a save made by Baker on O'Byrne's point blank shot. Byrne had an assist. One fifty four remaining. Save made by Baker and knocked away by Knowles. One forty five remaining. And at center ice, it's knocked to the side by Rye, and they hit it in with one thirty five left. On side, Baker makes the save as he knocks it from the puck from his stick to his glove, and he's got 34 saves, six away from 40, with 131 left, 17 shots for the Tigers, so 14 saves for Annabelle Thomas, as the two seniors combining for 48 saves. <laughs> That was Sarah Paulus. Yes. Late ice time. Stop me by. Uh, Stop made by. Baker. 115 left. And Mamaronek wins the crucial faceoff, and it's battered up with a high but legal stick by Matthews. A big hit, big hit right in front of the Rye bench by the Garnets with one minute remaining in this third period. Got to figure if we have one more goal, it'll be our last. Rye has it. It knocked, might have went off the official, much to Mamaronek's luck. And Matthews was able to play it out. Dry had a chance there with 41 seconds left. Play it to mid ice. Shift change for Dry. Olivara has it with 30 seconds to go. He scored the second goal of the game. He has it. Shokrian. At this point, Mamernak just trying to get it out of the zone any way they can. And it's stuck on the boards. Rye comes out with it though. And ooh, it's played in by the Garnets, knocked around. 10 seconds, nine. Torrey is trying to get it out, but he's knocked away by O'Byrne with three seconds. And Mamaronek plays it out. Rye plays it in. And we'll have overtime. Overtime, we'll have a Five minute overtime, so we'll be right back on OMC Varsity Sports with overtime.
Did you know you can watch LMC Media on your Apple TV in full high definition? Go to the App Store and search for ScreenWeave. Install the Cablecast ScreenWeave channel. Look for the green icon. Open the channel, scroll to LMC Media, and press OK. Your device will remember your selection in the future. From within the app, you can watch all three of LMC's channels live. Or check out municipal and school board meetings, varsity sports, and more on demand. here on LMC Varsity Sports Overtime. Five on five, Tigers, Garnets, 39 shots for Rye, so 36 saves for Baker, and 17 shots for Mamanek, so 14 for Annabelle Thomas. And it'll be no icing. Icing waved off, much to the dismay of Rye, but they come away with it anyway. Lulavara scored the second goal, hits it wide of Baker, they play it. Next goal will be the winning one. Sudden death overtime. Late hit by Matthews. Gotta figure, we won't call many penalties here in overtime unless they're really, and he scores! Why scores and they win! It was scored by Brendan O'Byrne off the glove of Baker and it goes in. So Brendan O'Byrne unassisted and Rye, he scores a goal and he has an assist and they celebrate in front of their fans. 49 seconds into overtime. Eight. They score. Is it unassisted? Unassisted? Unassisted, Brendan O'Byrne, 49 seconds into overtime, and Rye starts the season 1-0 with a 4-3 overtime win here on LMC Varsity Sports, an instant classic here for LMC Media. So, OT game winner, unassisted for Brendan O'Byrne, and quick little recap, O'Byrne had a goal and assist, Brian Curran had an assist, Tommy Greenhaw had a goal, Dempsey Brown had a goal. Tommy Richardson had an assist. Lucas Elevar had a goal. 14 saves for Annabelle Thomas. 38 saves for Max Baker. Riku Takai had the tying goal and, and two assists. Chris Matthews had two goals. Uh, including a power play. Kevin Torrey had an assist. 38 saves for Baker. Tigers fall to two and one after winning the uh, tournament in Albany. And Rye is now one and oh in a great game here on LMC Varsity Sports. Wrap it up. Uh, the LMC community, the LMC executive director is Matt Sullivan. The community sports producer is Mr. Rob Moretti. Our camera crew was Sean Riley, Jordan Harper, and Chris Lavinia. Once again, I'm Charlie McGraw saying thanks so much for watching and have a great evening.